Good evening. It is a pleasure and an honor to speak to you this evening. How do we respond in the midst of uncertainty? In the midst of COVID-19 has been a challenge for all of us. The uncertainty sometimes could be overbearing and it's like traveling to uncharted waters. But one thing I've learned and that is that I learned from David that um, if we start our day with trust and believe in the, in the Lord, then everything falls into place. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. And it's a beautiful day. And whatever takes place in the course of that day, it all falls under the confines of it's all in God's hands because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. So being a believer, we have to trust in God's word and believe that God's word is uh, true and it is tested in times of crisis. For um, David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So in times like these, we need the word of God in us that helps us formulate our opinions, formulate our actions and our reactions to whatever is impacting us. So during these times, I've made it a habit of every morning I wake up, I start off with, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. And it is a blessing that we have the prayer line that we can pray one with another. So that has been a blessing. And that has allowed us to uh, let, lay all of our cares on the one who created us and the one who has everything in his hands for uh, the, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. So I can rest assured I can sleep good at night because he promised um, us peace, peace so much so that it surpasses all of our understanding as we rest assuredly that he has everything under control. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean that we have license to uh, act crazy or to test God or to tempt God and not to follow the rules of uh, wearing your mask and social distancing because that that would be unwise and, and not uh, doing the things that are appropriate in the eyes of God. So in, as believers, we, we are we have we have been challenged to do those things. One thing I found is that uh, not only does God give you peace, but God gives you wisdom and understanding. And during these times, we really have a lot to be thankful for because God has uh, allowed us just to be still and know that he's God. He will be exalted in the earth. He will be exalted. And so we, we have to wait for his his spirit to to speak to us. And uh, he would give you, what should I do today? How should my day unfold? How, what can I accomplish today? And I found that in doing this, God will uh, allow you to uh, do some things that you maybe have been putting off. There, there should not be anyone who has... Uh, a list of un, uh, things undone around the house with all this time that we've had on our hand because we've had time to get it done. <laughs> so it's, it's really been, a, been an experience just uh, following the leadings of the Lord and allowing him to speak to us through his word and by his spirit. God will uh, never leave us or forsake us and truly, God has been, uh, has blessed us, has blessed my family. He's blessed my going out and my coming in, my down sittings, my uprise. He's blessed me in my home, blessed me in my family, 
my immediate and my extended family. God has blessed me in ways that I can't even begin to um, articulate or to comprehend because some blessings are, are just unspeakable, full of glory and truth. <laughs> so we have to accept this as God's doing because when when we focus on the word of God, as Paul said, uh, we we have to have a certain mindset. Well, what a what what um, programs your mind for today? What keeps your mind occupied today? What what are your thought patterns? What's all the things are good? What's all the things are honest? What's all the things are of good report? Think on these things. And let that mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus our Lord. So as we think, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So we should think good thoughts. Don't feed our minds and our, our hearts with a lot of negativity, a lot of negative thoughts, because those thoughts uh, are, are not um, godly. And God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. So in these times, we should not be afraid, but solely let's lean and depend that God has everything in his control. In his timing and under his purview, things will work for our good if we uh, just uh, be still, wait, wait on the Lord, be of good courage. And he will strengthen our hearts today. So Mount Zion, I challenge you today. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. <laughs> and he shall strengthen your heart today. It's a blessing to see you and to be with you this evening. God bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.